warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone welcome to the chemistry channel now we are entering chapter 7 which is ionic equilibrium as we all know for the ionic topic ionic equilibrium topic we do have n compound for the acidic solutions neutral and alkaline that range vary from 0 to 14 this is just example of the product or sample that having the different numbers of acidity in this part of ionic equilibrium we do have our three subtopic 7.1 which is acid and bases the objective for 7.1 acids and bases a to define acid and base according to the Arrhenius and Bronsted lorry b to identify conjugate acid and conjugate base according to bronsted lorry theory c to relate the ph and poh to the ionic product of water which is kw at 25 degrees celsius d to define strong acid and base weak acid and base ph poh and pkw e to calculate the ph value of a strong acid and base f to relate the strength of a weak acid and a weak base to the respective dissociation constants which is ka and kb value and g to perform calculations involving ph dissociation constants initial concentration equilibrium concentration and the degree of dissociation of alpha well for today lecture we are about to focus on the part a b c d in order to define and to identify and the rest of the calculation and to describe all this calculation to perform this calculation uh, you are going to have this throughout your study guide let us begin all right for the acids and bases there are about three theories of acid and base which is according to the arrhenius theory bronsted lowry theory and the lewis theory all right first we begin with the arrhenius theory as an Arrhenius state that acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ion of H plus or hydronium ion of H3O plus when it dissociates in water. This is such example for the Arrhenius acid. HCl in aqueous solution is completely dissociated to form the H plus aqueous and the Cl minus aqueous while the hcl as of a gas as example when mixed with water of h2o to produce the h3 or positive aqueous and the cl minus aqueous however according to this theory the acid cannot be account for the acidity of compounds such as febr3 nh4cl because this type of compound do not produce any H plus ion. According to the Arrhenius theory, base is a substance that produces hydroxide ion, which is OH minus when it dissociates in water. For example, NaOH, sodium hydroxide in aqueous, going to completely produce the Na plus aqueous ion and the OH minus ion. An example for the base according to Arrhenius, it cannot account for the basicity of such ammonia Na2CO3 sodium chromate because do not produce any OH minus ion. Then we move to the second theory that relates on the acids and bases. This theory names Bronsted and Lowry theory. According to the Bronsted and Lowry theory, Acid is a substance that can donate a proton of H plus to another substance that we call as a proton donor. For example, HCl 
in aqueous is said to be an acid because it can donate a proton of H plus to another substance which is H2O to perform H3 positive aqueous ion and the Cl minus aqueous ion. Another example and H4 positive the ammonium ion what happened as an acid the ammonium ion can donate a proton of H plus to H2O liquid to perform the H3O plus aqueous and the NH3 aqueous so both cases shows that both compounds can donate a proton of H plus this is how we explain the acidity based on the Bronsted and Lowry theory then for base according to Bronsted and Lowry theory base is a substance that can accept a proton of H plus from the another substance that we call the proton acceptor for the example ammonia NH3 gas called as a base why because the H2O can donate a proton so the ammonia of NH3 accept a proton of H plus from the H2O so it's going to form a product of NH4 positive aqueous ion and the OH minus aqueous ion another example the carbonate ion of CO3 2 minus accept a proton H plus from H2O to form the HCO3 minus aqueous and the OH minus aqueous so both examples explain the basicity of the ammonia and sodium carbonate in bronsted lowry theory right in the con in bronsted lowry theory we also can determine the conjugate for the acid and base conjugate for the acid means a species that formed when a base accept a proton while for the conjugate base mean a species that formed when an acid donates a proton example have a look for this equation h2no2 is called as acid because can donate a proton of h plus to form the no3 minus meanwhile the h2o receive a proton that donate by the acid to form a h3 o positive so this hno2 is called as an acid while what happened after the hno2 donate h plus ion it form a conjugate base of no2 minus while for h2o is called as a base because it accept a proton of h plus to form an h3o plus that we call as a conjugate acid so in here we can say that conjugate acid and base pair such as H2O and NO2 minus, which means acid is paired by the conjugate base, while the base H2O is paired with the conjugate acid, which is H3O positive. Right. Okay. Have a look for the another example that can be used for determine acid and base according to the Bronsted and Lowry theory. For example, PO4 3 minus in aqueous with H2O react with H2O liquid to form the HPO4 2 minus aqueous and the OH minus aqueous. PO4 3 minus is called as a base. Why? Because PO4 3 minus accept a proton of H plus to form the HPO4 2 minus aqueous. So this base is paired with conjugate acid. While the acid of H2O, since H2O donate a proton of H to form a OH minus as a conjugate base. So as a conclusion, we can say conjugate acid and base pair is between the PO4 3 minus and HPO4 minus. So base is pair with conjugate acid, while the other one is H2O as an acid is pair with the conjugate base, which is OH minus. 
Another example, the ammonia, liquid of ammonia is paired with NH4+, while the HBr is paired with Br- minus. Because, as we can see here, we can see here, the NH3 is called as a base because it receives a proton of H+, that donate by the acid HBr to form the NH4 positive, while the HBr, after it donate the proton of H to become the Br- anion. Search for the conjugate base. So, as a conclusion, we say that the conjugate acid and base pair is between the HNO2 and NO2 minus, while the another pair is H2O and the H3O plus. Okay, here is the information that show the relative strengths between the conjugate pairs of acid and base. All right. As we can see here, the left part of this table shows that the strong acid increase from the nitric acid up to perchloric acid. And from the ammonia NH3, such a weak acid that increase until hydrogen sulfate ion HSO4 minus and the conjugate base show the strength of this conjugate increase start from perchlorate ion ClO4 minus up until the NH2 minus which is an amide ion so it shows the relation strength between the conjugate of acid and base pair so the stronger the acid the weaker will be the conjugate base meanwhile the stronger the base the weaker is conjugate acid okay next we move to the next story that relates on acid and base which is lewis theory in this theory Lewis theory state that acid is a substance which is referred to the atom, ion or molecules that can accept a pair of electrons to form a coordinate or we call the dative covalent bond. This is what we learned before in chapter 5, chemical bonding. While the base is a substance that can donate a pair of electrons to form a coordinate or dative covalent bond. Here is an example, right? As a simple one, I give you the ammonia. Ammonia is, is said to be a base, while the H plus is an acid, because can accept a pair of electrons to form a coordinate dative. NH3 is attack the H plus to form the NH4 plus, the ammonium ion. NH3 with BF3. NH3 having one lone pair. When we draw the NH3 structure, NH3 have one lone pair that can be donated straight away to the BF3 to form this compound. NH3 BF3 as a covalent, a covalent coordinate or dative covalent bond. Another example, Cooper 2 positive is called an acid. When it's react with the ammonia NH3 because each of the ammonia ion having a lone pair of electron. So this lone pair electron can be donated, right? Can donate a pair of electron to form the R coordinate bond or dative covalent bond. While the other example is H plus and the OH minus. When both combine, H plus having nothing of none of electron while the OH minus have a pair of electron that can be donated to the H plus to form the H2O. So this is a, another simple example to show that the Lewis theory is effect. So as a conclusion here, we can show that the different type between the Lewis acid and Lewis base this is kind of characteristic 
to show between the Lewis base seed and Lewis base. Number one, as a for Lewis acid, it has a positive ion, which is called cation. Example, H plus, <coughs> Fe2 plus, NO2 plus, Al3 plus. The negative ion for anion, for example, the OH minus, CN minus, CH3, COO minus, and Cl minus. Alright, if you look for any of the species that having such a cation or anion, it is simple to different type to distinguish between the Lewis acid or Lewis base. However, if that species do not obtain any of positive or negative ions, we can look as the molecule. Either the molecule is incomplete or tet of electron or molecule with lone pair of electron number. If the molecule is incomplete or tet, for example, FeBr3, BF3, BeCl2 and BCl3, so this kind of compound is incomplete a tet compound so we can class into the Lewis acid while the molecule that having lone pair of electron at the center atom or the terminal atom such as H2O NH3 alcohol compound and PCl3 compound so this molecule we describe as a Lewis based molecule in another way molecule with expense valence shell Molecule that we say to be having an orbital D, for example, SiF4 and SiBr4 is such an example for the Lewis acid. While the molecule with containing pi bonds in the compound, for example, benzene compound of C6H6 and the triple bond between the C and O is called to be the Lewis base. For the Lewis acid, another example for compound that having a characteristic of Lewis acid is having an oxide of non-metal. Example, the CO2 molecule, SO2 molecule, and SO3 more molecule. Alright, this is how it works. To prove that this is the Lewis theory is can be proved for this molecule NH3 if you look if you draw the NH3 molecule NH3 having lone pair at the center atom while the BF3 molecule is incomplete compound the lone pair of electron from N atom as a center atom of NH3 is about to be donated to the boron atom to form a dative bond so so this is shows that how the Lewis theory is works based on the dative bond. So there are no such of salt or water are formed during this reaction. So we can say as a conclusion here, according to the all these three theory, Arrhenius, Bronsted theory, and the Lewis theory, as as below, acid and base, Arrhenius. Substance that produce H plus or H2O plus when it dissociates in water, while base is substance that produce OH minus when dissociate in water. Bronsted lorry, species that donates a proton to another species, and base is species that accept a proton to another species. And the Lewis, according to the Lewis theory, AC is a species that accepts a pair of electrons to form a dative bond while a base is a species that donates a pair of electrons to form a dative bond. All this example is given here. So please bear in mind the three differences between the three theory to classify the acids and base compound.